Hi, greetings from Sunny Musket. This is our second video edition of the hospitality updates and um, I'm here in Musket, wonderful beach. And let's start with the first uh, news actually. The first one is with regards to um, how domestic tourism is actually driving hospitality into Kota Kinabalu and Sabah. Uh, it's the top fifth most uh, visited state in Malaysia and the ninth most popular state in ASEAN. You know, so it's really uh, now punching its, uh, still below its weight. I, I'm from KK, I think it's got a lot more to offer and uh, I think many more things to come. Um, requests for hotels to purchase in KK, we, we, we get it all the time and I think it's um, definitely something to look into. The second story is of course uh, Travel Lodge Georgetown opening. Um, Travel Lodge have been uh, very aggressive in the region. Uh, this would be their third property in Malaysia after the two in Kuala Lumpur. And um, I, lo I look forward to see what uh, the McAllister Hotel looks like. The third story is with regards to um, Macau being dethroned as the um, city with the most amount of five-star and luxury hotels in the world. Uh, it, this is issued by Forbes Travel Guide and uh, we've got the uh, they've been dethroned by London. London has got 13 such hotels as compared to a close 12 by Macau. Um, London got uh, got into the first place by virtue of the Bulgari hotels and residents, the opening of the Langham and of course the Shangri-La at the Shard as well. Um, the, the next story is with regards to Zuzu Hospitality Solutions. Now, um, Zuzu was launched a couple of years ago, maybe maybe four or five years ago actually, and um, they offered uh, fantastic options for independent hoteliers, independent hotels and uh, Parma shop operators actually. Uh, they do the revenue management bit of the uh, property. It's outsourced. Another disruption in the industry. And the story this time is how they actually raised uh, 3.7 million US dollars um, uh, in the last round of um, uh, capital raising. And the last story is with regards to um, Ian Schrager, a uh, well-known hotelier, the person who actually um, coined the modern boutique hotel. And he says that uh, moving forward, boutique hotels, uh, luxury hotels and boutique hotels are going to change. Uh, they're going to be much smaller, 80 to 90 percent, and 80 to 90 rooms only. And they'll only cater for 1 percent of the market. Only 1 percent. And therefore, the attention to detail, the focus on luxury is going to be very high. Um, that's it for this week. Don't forget to visit us on our Facebook, uh, Zarin, uh, Hotel Invest, and also our website, zarinproperties.com. See you next week. Bye-bye.